if we're following trends here, at least over the last couple of years, you had the Rams in 2017, you had the Bears in 2018. There's lots of similarities in the sense that you have a yeah. young, innovative head coach. You have a quarterback who, in starting their second year, is expected to take a major leap forward. I would think that you're setting us up to think that the Cleveland Browns are going to be the team that you decide on. However, I feel like that's too obvious. I'm going to take a, a leap here, and I'm, I would have guessed that if you were setting odds, maybe the New York Jets at like plus 2,000 or 20 to 1, like a team that's sort of on that similar type of trajectory with a young, exciting quarterback, a change in head coach. I'm thinking that the New York Jets are going to be the team that you decide on. That's a big sleeper pick. This series will end in March. In all past years, I've come to the team that I was going to pick early on in the process. I'm not one of these people that's like jumping on in August, like, oh, let me go root for this team that everybody is kind of behind now as right. a sleeper team. I want to, I want to be there first. And and to that end, it's funny to hear you kind of lay out the standards here, <laughs> uh, because based on like, ten so, minutes of conversation with you, that's that's the initial spin of the brain where things are going. Oh, but don't worry, because it is obvious, right? Like, just, I mean, so one of my one of my friends that works here at Yahoo right away was like, oh, it's going to be this team, I guarantee it, because I know Harmon. Like you said, can't be too popular, can't be too obvious, because it's got to be a little bit of a hipster pick. And obviously, I'm open to new information, but when he put that team out there, I was like, oh, wow, that is a really, that's a good contender. Your pick of the Jets is interesting, though, because, I mean, I will say there is, a, like you said, there's a lot to get behind there. I like to let the team kind of go into free agency to see what kind of moves they might make mm -hmm. uh, you know like i did with the bears signing Allen robinson that immediately kind of locked them in as that team for me will the jets go out they have a lot of cap room they could make a move sam Darnold, as you mentioned i do think is a really good young up-and-coming quarterback the question is is that coaching staff too insufferable 